All right, so here we have a, a request from somebody else on the on the channel who is asking about how can you use command economy effective, effectively. So what does command economy do for you? Um, so it's part of these economic systems. The economic systems largely are going to be determining two different things for you. Um, largely, they're going to be determining who can get subsidies and who is generating investment pool. Um, so you see here that we're getting 25% investment pool from aristocrats, 25% from capitalists, 50% from capitalists, um, but you can only subsidize certain things under some of these. So what this is gonna, what these, and these these three are kind of like the core of normal economic behavior. Um, and then you also have traditionalism, which is sort of like what you, what you have on countries that have not entered into normal economic behavior mode yet. Um, and then we have command economy. So traditionalism, this is crap, you wanna get out of it all, basically all the time. There, yes, people like to hem and haw about whether or not the bureaucracy population cost multiplier is useful. No, is the, the short answer. Um, you wanna get out of this crap as soon as you can, but sometimes you have other things you have to do first. Um, and then you got these guys down here. An investment pool is very, very powerful for those of you who don't understand, because it's basically just it's giving it's giving you more money to build with um, without having actually taxed anyone. Um, it's just the people who have wealth and power in your country saying, hey, things are going well. Here's some extra money. Go ahead and build stuff so that way it goes even better. Command economy turns that on its head. Um, so with command economy, we no longer have investment pool coming in, right? So you'd think immediately, all right, command economy is back with traditionalism on the bottom of the pile. In a certain sense, I, I can't even necessarily disagree with that. Like insufficient taxation capacity is largely a nonsense stat when it comes to late game stuff. So this number basically doesn't mean anything. 25% um, authority, this is something that's situationally useful. Um, but it depends on how much authority you have. So like right now, I'm playing with this like super liberal but insanely uh, voracious version of the USA. But because we have like universal, universal suffrage and multiculturalism and total separation and stuff, I just don't have any, I don't have any authority to get extra multipliers out of. So command economy is it, it's not that it's good or bad because we haven't even shown what it does yet. Um, but it's highly, highly specialized. And so if you want to use command economy well, um, then you do need to, to be aware of the implications of it. You probably want to make sure that you have access to some authority because, because this number basically doesn't do anything. And yes, subsidies mandated is a big issue. Um, cause what happens when you click this is that every, every, Every industry that along the way in my supply chain will just, because I backed up the save file, um, we'll just activate it here. Uh, but you'll see that all of the things that we have in this, in our building chains that like aren't doing super hot because I'm not building with them right now. Um, for instance, those guys are just going to explode in their subsidies cost. So right now, let's see where we are. We're at minus 293k subsidies. All right, let's see what happens when we... Uh, let me switch over to command economy. It hasn't really readjusted yet, but it's getting there. So, so far it looks like we added around 40, 30 some K in subsidies. So if you, if you establish the, the, the first thing that you can do to like try to avoid having problems with a command economy switchover is to make sure that most of your buildings are mostly profitable. Um, if you can ensure that, then whenever you do your switchovers to command economy, all your, your subsidies won't explode through the roof. Um, but what that's going to do is it's, it is going to dramatically change the power makeup of your country. Um, we don't have historical data yet because this is, oh, I should have, I should have unpaused first so that we would have better historical data of watching their clout disappear. But because we've removed a bunch of capitalists, um, from the equation, they are gradually going to lose wealth because they don't they don't have jobs anymore they're gonna have to switch over to being bureaucrats or something um and that's going to make it so that the industrialists burn off and their radicalism even though it's growing 
if the if all of the industrialists leave because most of them are are gone because there aren't any capitalists left because that's that's really what it does here is it changes this thing over to this to government run which means you employ bazillions of bureaucrats and so we're going to see the intelligentsia just roar up in terms of its power um that's mostly who's going to benefit like mostly it's going to penalize the industrialists and mostly it's going to benefit the intelligentsia um if you want a different way to to have something like with a different ownership there then that's then that's when you go into a council republic um because that's also going to change your production methods and that's going to dramatically change the nature of your economy at least as much as as uh as a command economy because it's also going to dramatically change your political strength and it the uh, these worker cooperatives are going to make it so that all of the money that right now is flowing into the hands of the bureaucrats instead starts flowing into the hands of uh, the workers working on the on on site. Okay, well, that's I think that's command economy. Largely, the reason that I think most people struggle with it is that they don't set themselves up particularly well in terms of of making sure that they don't have like some massively unprofitable uh businesses and so then whenever they switch over to, subsi to, to subsidizing everything um their economy explodes if you can line it up with having uh, a couple of good sources of authority like maybe we stop suppressing the petit bourgeoisie and then we can start doing like service consumption taxes but like the more obviously the more um base authority you have going on the more percent uh based authority bonuses are 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 good and so if you're going to go into command command economy, I, I really do think that you should have some some measurement in here that maybe it's outlawed dissent or something like that. But you should have something in there that gives you like a, a reasonable amount of authority to, to throw around. Otherwise, you're just you're you you're, you're doing stuff for nothing. OK, um, that's Walker. That is command economy. Take care.